All right, number 18. Um, there is a name that's, I don't know if it's uh, maybe Russian or Ukrainian. I can't even pretend to pronounce, so forgive me. Um, but it starts with A. So I'm going to call you, and, and it ends with a K. So AK, I'll say AK. How must we love enemies, according to the Bible, in extreme scenarios, such as loving murderers and rapists? In which way should we love them? Um, a murderer uh, can be loved. Um, lo you, you could still call the police on them. If they're in the act of murder, you can you can do whatever you have to do to stop them, including killing them. Um, you can uh, call them out. You can fight a, a just war against them. Um, you, you stop a rapist. You won't let them into your home. You won't be around them because of their behaviors unless they've truly repented and demonstrated the genuineness of that repentance. But how do I then love them in the middle of all that? Well, I don't want to, to, you know, like, let's say that someone breaks into my house and they're stealing my things. And I'm one of those people who's like, break into my house. You're dead. I'm going to kill you. That's not loving them. I would use minimal force. That's one way of showing love. I'm going to use minimal force to, to stop this thing from happening, not maximum force. That's one way of exhibiting love. I'm going to fight for the rights of even a murderer to have a fair trial. That's one way of loving them. I'm going to pray for their salvation and I'm going to preach the gospel to them. If possible, that's another way of loving them. So I, I think I can love them even though their behavior is requiring strong action on my part to stop them. Like I'm okay with the idea of a rapist being, uh, being actually, I'm okay with rapists getting the death penalty. Um, but I still want them to have the gospel of Christ. And this is balancing these different needs for justice and love. And you might look at it this way as like, God loves us, but he will still judge us. And so where there's proper judgment and justice and proper reactions to sin, those are good and we should do those. But when there is the opportunity for showing grace, the opportunity for showing kindness and the opportunity to preach the gospel, we should do that as well. So I would vote for a murderer to get the death penalty, but I would also want them to get the gospel. And, um, I don't see a conflict there, even though I know a lot of people do. I, I think that, I think that that's appropriate. And I think it's exampled in scripture, the way God deals with people.